Hey, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're going to see how the cosmic currents are pulling for the single Aquarius. This is going to be your bonus love reading. Down below, I will have the timestamp if you want to skip past my talking. Links for my Spotify, Apple Music, and SoundCloud will be down below, as well as my email for $20 personal readings. Due to a high volume of requests, I need at least 2-3 days to get them done after transactions, so I appreciate you for your patience. Also, go check out my spiritual store on Etsy. I just added new limited edition items for the holidays. Link is going to be down below. And make sure to check out my new Instagram. I'm pulling daily tarot cards, sharing channeled messages, spells, talking about energy shifts, and sharing updates on my YouTube channel and Etsy store. So if you guys are interested in all that, you can go follow me at CosmicTides underscore, and that information is going to be down below. And before we begin, just keep in mind that these energies are interchangeable, so feel free to switch around the characters if you need to as we go along. And I'm using the Angel Tarot with the Modern Witch Tarot for you guys today. Also, definitely go check out your mid to end December reading if you haven't already, because these were the first three cards in that reading, and these are your first three cards again for this reading too, okay? So definitely go check that out if you haven't already. Um, so yeah, I'm seeing this the exact same way too. It's like, yeah, you guys cut somebody off here, and now this person is really feeling your absence. They want change in this situation. Um... I'm just seeing it's like this person, um, this person is now recognizing all the work you were investing into the situation now that it's not there, now that you drop the burden, now that they don't have it, now that you cut them off. Okay, so they're really feeling your absence is what I'm seeing here. And this person didn't appreciate you in the past. This person didn't appreciate you in the past. This person put you in a third party I'm seeing as well. Okay, for some of you, uh, for a lot of you, I'm seeing it's like this person was in a whole relationship with someone else behind your back and you found out about it. For others of you, um, it was vice versa. So you found out, yeah, so that for others of you, this is vice versa. So you were with this person in a whole relationship with this person and then you found out that they had a lot of options that they were introducing to the mix. So either way you look at it, this person has options, okay? And they weren't appreciating the the energy you were investing into this situation because you were the only one that was pushing this forward is what I was seeing. You were putting in a lot of work. Um, you were trying to get this moving. You were the only one putting in the effort, putting in the energy here. And this person, like I said, didn't appreciate it. Now that they don't have it, now they're missing it. Now they want it. Now they want change in this situation because you dropped this burden. Like I said, for some of you, you definitely found out that this person was in a whole relationship um, behind your back here. That they had options. Um, that this person's not loyal. And I just see it's like you want justice from this situation. You want to receive the blessings from the burdens of this situation. Because um, the burdens were really heavy. Like I said, you were the only one pushing it forward. And this caused you a lot of heartbreak. And I just see it's like now you're just trying to um, get your shit in order is what I'm seeing. You're trying to get, get your shit together here. You let go of this last burden. You let go of it so you can move forward, so you can move on. Like I said, you're trying to get your shit together. You let this go so you can move on. This person emotionally drained you, and they were holding on to you for sex here. And I'm just seeing it's like now this person is really... This person's kind of like trapped in their own head right now because you closed your legs to this person and you cut them off. This person's like kind of just now realizing what they did. Like I said, they're they're feeling your absence right now, okay? They're really feeling your absence. It's like you cut them off, you closed your legs to this person because of the deception, because they were doing things behind your back here, because um, they were hiding things I'm seeing. And I'm just saying, it's like, you guys have clarity now. I see you guys trusting in the universe's divine plan for you. You know what's ahead of you is better than what's behind you. And I see you're trying to make this smart choice today to bring you a better tomorrow. Because this person was putting you in a third-party situation. And you walked away from what you don't want. Like I said, you're making this smart choice today to bring you a better tomorrow. Walking away from what you don't want to walk towards what you do. Um, yeah. Okay, so you guys are gaining that clarity. You guys trust in the divine plan the universe has for you. You guys know something better is going to come in divine right timing when it's supposed to. So I just see it's like you're walking away from this. You want something more spiritual, emotional, something with depth. When you walk away, I just see this person is going to be sending you some type of message here. This person is going to try to kind of be on the more charming side is what I'm seeing. They're going to try to be sweet on you. Um, but definitely be careful because they are trying to get away with something here. They do want sex. This is definitely something that is disguised here. They're in, they're trying to hide their true intentions is what I'm seeing. 
okay? And I just feel like, yeah, there's this feeling from you guys that it's like, you know, you gained, yeah, I'm hearing chains too. Um, so it's like you broke the chains from this person, from this situation. You guys are free is what I'm seeing. Um, and you guys are looking at things from a different perspective. Like I said, you have that clarity now. You guys see what's ahead of you is better than what's behind you. You're not wanting to go back to your past here. Um, I just see it's like you're wanting to honor yourself, honor your needs, and you're not wanting to sacrifice your needs to be in this connection with this person anymore. This person's a user. This was an unstable situation. This person just wants sex from you here. And I just see it's like they're trying to be sneaky about it. And in the past, too, it's like they were trying to get away with putting you into a third-party situation. And I just see it's like you're just wanting to honor yourself. You're not wanting to go through that again. Um, and I see this person is really wanting to communicate with you. Because also, too, this is also the hangman. I just see it's like your hands are tied here. Um, your hands are tied here. You're keeping your hands to yourself here. Also, some of you might might like bondage is what I'm seeing, okay? Um, or like kinky stuff. Either way, I'm saying like this person is really wanting to tie you up too is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, they really want to have sex with you. Okay, that's what I'm seeing strongly come through here. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm just seeing it's like, yeah, this person is really wanting to communicate with you, but it's like your hands are tied. Um, like you're keeping your hands to yourself because you know all this person wants is sex. That's all they have to offer you. And you're wanting to go into this new beginning in your life. You're taking this leadership role um, so you can move forward because you want this new opportunity in life. You want to move forward because this person is being deceptive and they're coming to you hiding their true intentions. It's like you guys see right through it. Like I said, you guys have that clarity. Okay, you guys have that higher perspective is what I'm seeing here. Very intuitive. And it's like when this person comes to you, it's like you know what they want. They're not they're not fooling you, okay? They're not fooling you. And I'm just saying it's like you're just wanting to be single right now. You just want to be in your own energy. You just want to stay grounded. And you just want to plan your next steps to head here. Um, because you already released yourself from this situation. You freed yourself. Like I said, I was hearing chains before. Okay, so you freed yourself from this situation. I just see it's like before you were trying to be loyal to this person, but there was an emotional distance between you guys that was really keeping you stuck, preventing you from moving on, from moving forward. And like I said, you freed yourself. You're just wanting to be single right now, being your own energy. And I see this, yeah, you just want to be single right now. You just want to be in your own energy so you can ascend. I'm seeing spiritual growth, enhanced intuition. Okay, so I definitely see you guys are enjoying that right now. And like I said, you freed yourself here. And I see this person is going to be reaching out to you here. Definitely, I see this person again. Okay, so this person is definitely really trying hard to grab your cup here. Okay, because I also have the Ace of Fire with the Ace of Water. Okay, and then I have these two again here. Okay, and this is basically like the same thing. I definitely see this person is going to try to play on your emotions here. They're going to try to be sweet on you. Um, they're going to try to charm you, okay? But there is deception, okay? There's definitely deception here. I just see it's like they're really just trying to disguise their true intentions with you. But like I said, it's like you guys have that spiritual growth. You guys are very intuitive, okay? So you see right through this person in this situation, and I see this person is acting like everything is fine, but this is actually really bothering them. Um, really bothering them because this person doesn't want you to move on here, okay? This person doesn't want you to move on. But I just see it's like you're having this commitment to your spiritual growth to keep on moving forward. You're putting sex and relationships on the back burner. Like I said, you're just wanting to be single right now and plan your next steps ahead. You're just wanting to manifest a lot of money right now. Definitely you could have Capricorn in your chart. Or, or, uh, this feels like more like you. I was going to say you could be dealing with one or someone who has it in their chart, but this feels like you. Um, especially because we have Jupiter and Capricorn right now. And I see you're really just wanting to... Definitely you guys have been tuning in here, so shout out to you guys. Uh, for tuning into the channel because I see you're wanting to um, have this commitment to your spiritual growth. You're wanting to follow your own spiritual path and work with the planets here so you can get the best results. Like I said, you're wanting to excuse me, make smart choices today to bring you a better tomorrow. And I definitely see you're wanting to take advantage of working with Jupiter because it is in Capricorn right now. And um, that's, okay, Jupiter is the planet of expansion and abundance in the sign of Capricorn for your finances, right? That's its theme right now. So Jupiter is going to be expanding your finances and abundance. And I definitely see where you're wanting to, you know, you're wanting to um, focus on your coins. You're wanting to work with the planets to get best results so you can, re so you can reach your highest potential here is what I'm seeing. Um... 
I'm just seeing as like this person doesn't really want you to get away from them. It's like I just see it's like you keep going fo farther and farther away and they keep on trying to grab at you is what I'm seeing here. It's like every time you move forward, they keep on trying to put their arm around you is what I'm seeing. Like this person doesn't really want you to move on is what I'm getting here. But they're acting like it doesn't bother them. But they don't want you to move on. But this person, this person didn't change either. Because, okay, if this person was dealing with somebody else, like I said, if they had a whole relationship with someone else, for some of you, I'm seeing this person has a child with someone else, okay? Um... And it's like, I still see this person is with whoever they had the child by, okay? So even if they come towards you, um, they're not leaving this person. They still have their arm around them. They just have a wandering eye here. And for others of you, I'm saying you could have a child with this person, okay? And that's also why they don't want you to move on. But I see you're, you're stepping away from this person. You're taking your, your child. And I see you manifesting a lot of money here, um, a lot of money here. And either way, I just see them being really um, upset about this. It's like they just don't want you to move on is what I'm seeing here. This person's like really selfish. Um, I'm also seeing too, like, yeah, this is coming up again. So, yes, yeah, some of you definitely like looked through this person's phone. Um, some of you definitely like looked through this person's phone is what I'm seeing here. And that was also in your last reading and the Scorpio one. And it's like you could have definitely found out about this whole situation with somebody else uh, by looking through this person's phone. Or again, you could have been with this person and somebody could have texted this person. Okay. Um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. For others of you, I'm seeing this isn't the phone. This is like a reading you got. You could have got a personal reading from somebody or you could have watched tarot readers online. And it's like, it told you the truth is what I'm seeing here. Your intuition was validated. I just see it's like, either way, it's like, you guys are trying to honor this commitment to your spiritual growth. You're trying to work with the planets for best results. Trying to make this smart choice today to bring you a better tomorrow. And I see you guys are just wanting to put this person, sex, relationships, whatever, on the back burner. You guys just want to be single right now so you can manifest a lot of money. You guys are wanting to work with Jupiter. So I'm definitely seeing some strong Capricorn placement here. Um, or Sagittarius placement. And let's see. Yeah, basically I just don't see this person really wanting you to move on. They don't like it, is what I'm getting here. They don't like it. They don't want you to move on here. I think that's why this is keep on, this is very repetitive here. Um, so definitely they're thinking about this situation a lot. Like I said, they don't want you to move on. Okay, so they're definitely thinking about this situation a lot. They're definitely looking at their phone, looking at you guys, um, looking at your social media, old messages, old pictures. Um, you could have sent this person nudes, I'm seeing. Um, yeah, so that's what I got there. No, they're wanting me to come back here. Okay, so like, yeah. I just see this person is very sexually attracted to you here. Um, but again, it's like your hands are to yourself here. And I keep seeing hands tied. So maybe you and this person definitely could have did some like bondism or something like that. Like bondage. Um, I'm just seeing like this person is really, really sexually attracted to you here. Really wanting to come forward towards you. Um, they're hoping if they're sweet to you, they can get away with it is what I'm seeing here. Because they don't want you, again, because they don't want you to move on. Partially, I'm seeing too, they don't want you to move on. Hold on. Okay, yeah. So partially, I'm seeing it's like they don't want you to move on because they don't want somebody else to have you, I'm seeing here. They're still dealing with other people. So that's where I'm like, this person is selfish. That's what I don't like here. And this person still wants to have that emotional distance from you. I don't think this person is telling you how they really feel about you, and I think that might be one of the main issues here, honestly. Um, so, all right. I'm just going to leave that there. I hope that was good for you guys. Um, definitely check your chart and whoever you're dealing with their chart, too. Um, some signs you'll be dealing with. Um, seeing Pisces, Libra, Scorpio. Aquarius, Gemini, Cancer, um, Sagittarius, 
Leo, Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Cancer, Cancer or Pisces Moon here, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Okay. All right, so that's what I got for you guys. Make sure you check your chart, your partner's chart, or whoever you're connecting with. Um, also, check out my Etsy store. I have some new limited edition holiday items up. I just restocked the Good Luck and Prosperity Ritual set. That one goes fast. We only have one left already. Um, so try to get on that one while you can. That one was actually made and charged with the last full moon of the decade, so it's very potent. Um, also go check out my holiday song, Naughty. It's on all major platforms and SoundCloud. And also check out my Instagram, at CosmicTides underscore, for some uh, channeled messages, uh, daily tarot cards, all that good stuff. So definitely go check that out. Um, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys have an amazing holiday. Enjoy your time. Alright, just keep shining bright. And I will catch you next week, okay? Bye!